Hi, welcome back to my channel, it's MZ here and in this video I'm going to talk about what um, decks I used for up June I did daily pulls this month and the first deck I used this month was this one, Shining Tribe Tarot It's this deck Rachel Pollock's deck and I love the artwork in this, it's so beautiful so bright and colourful I've got some great messages from this as well and the guidebook is really a lot of detail in in it I really enjoyed the write-up and everything so I wanted to try decks I recently hauled and this one's got a new like uh, revised guidebook which I was intrigued about so I'm glad I got this there's a um, more in-depth um, look at the book in my haul video if you're interested there's a lot of good walkthrough videos on this deck already but yeah I've got this the old edition as well but I just wanted the extra cards and the book and everything because that's the collector in me I need to have them all <laughs> the only thing I did find when using this deck is that it started to bow and there's like damage on the side and I haven't used it that much so I don't know really understand why it's gone that way. I don't remember the old edition bowing on me. It was more glossier. This more matte. I don't know why. And I overhand shuffle as well, so I don't really understand why it's done that. But I still love the artwork, so beautiful. I just like how um yes tribal it is because it is about the shining tribe tower and it's very raw artwork I feel. I really love it. I love the style. But yeah that's the first deck I used in June. It's the Rachel Pollock, the Shining Tribe Tower. The next deck I used was this one. I don't know the official name of this deck. I got it off eBay. It's just called Tarot Deck. And it's plastic tarot cards, but they're in like a dark colour. But I keep it in this travel pouch because this is the deck I use when I go and travel. And I use this quite a lot this month because I went and visited my friend. We went booked a little seaside holiday to meet up because she's one friend I've known since I was 11 years old and we meet up every year and visit new places and things. This is the deck I took because it's plastic and it's waterproof and I just feel safe knowing it's not going to get damaged and I just love the colours. Yeah I had a really good time at the seaside. It's good to see my friend, shout out my bestie <laughs> and she's into tarot as well and Got same views on spirituality and and like art style like art stuff and yeah it was good to meet up I wish we could meet up more often but it's getting the same time off work and costs quite a bit but hopefully we'll meet up more soon but we went to a place called Whitby it was really quite cool actually it was um a lot of independent shops. A lot of alternative sort of shops and there was like crystal shops there as well. So we've got some quite cool goodies from there. I had quite a haul where to travel back on the train with. <laughs> and sadly one of the things that I bought broke. It was like this blue hand thing with like a spiral symbol in it that you um, put your crystals in. And the finger broke off of it on the when I travelled home. But I managed to super glue it back together. So. But yeah, I really enjoy using this deck when I'm away because it's easy to shuffle. It's plastic, I don't have to worry if it gets wet or anything. And just stress free and I can be a bit rough with it and not worry too much. Because the worst thing I want to do is take a deck with me and worry about ruining it or losing it. But I love the colours in this. I love the dark backgrounds and everything. And it's like, it's got the uh, symbols in the background there of the 
back of the tarot cards, like the original RWS. I thought that was a really cool touch. I just like um, the colours, like the pencil with the shiny black, and then even the title is glossy as well. The only problem with this deck is it absolutely smells of plastic, like really, really bad. I've tried to air it out, but it's still there. <laughs> so that's the only downside for it. I'm hoping like I burn some incense or something around it, maybe it won't smell so bad, but it is quite a strong smell. <laughs> but yeah, I actually love this deck. And I got this off eBay as well, that like it comes in like, like to travel with, and it's so handy and it's just really cool travel pouch. So that's where I keep my travel deck. That's what I used quite a bit this month because I also went away with my boyfriend to a music gig and I took that with me as well. Next deck I'll show you is this one, the Aquarian Tarot. I only just recently got this one, so I'm trying to get through decks that I just recently purchased, so I actually use them. So yeah, I do re I really enjoy working with this. I never owned the Aquarium Tower, even though it's been around for such a long time. I really like the colours. I really like the coloured pencil illustrations as well. I like the texture of the artwork and everything. So yeah, I really liked working this. This was quite a direct reader, really. Just said it how it is, didn't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> the sort of thing I got from this deck. But yeah, I really enjoy working with this one too. And I used it a couple of times really, because more decks came in the post and I was more drawn to working with them. <laughs> That's how it was this month. Like as soon as a new deck came in, I see I was using it. <laughs> I think that's the best way to do it though, really, because then you actually get a feel for it and see if it's actually what it was a good purchase or not. So yeah, I did like working with this one, but I have many more that I also love working with, so I only worked with it briefly. But I did enjoy using it. I like the watercolour effects in the background as well. Yeah, it's really that staple deck, like it's always going to be in my collection because it's such a classic. So yeah, that's the Aquarian Tarot. And that's the book that comes with it. Didn't really like this book actually. I don't know. It's just some of the meanings I didn't really like. Didn't agree with really. I don't know. So maybe it's the way it was written. So I didn't really use the guidebook that much. I just use my own knowledge of the tarot. There's the Aquarian tarot. Another deck I started using for my latest hauls, this one, the old style tarot. I really like the artwork in this and I really love the way it reads this deck. I love the way it shuffles. This is such a good deck and I was very surprised how much I like it. It's such a so good to shuffle. I don't know, I just really really enjoy the card stock on this one. That's really pretty as well. And the artwork really speaks to me. It's RWS, but it's slightly different as well. Some places. And then you also have this as a significator card, which I was using in my daily pause. So like, I'd see what was in front and below the card. And that would be my reading. as be the two cards on either side. And sometimes they had different meanings. Sometimes, oh, like, what should I focus on? or what should the action be for the day or it's changed really or I just read them together. I got this card actually and it was quite apt because I was quite stressed that day. <laughs> so yeah, it was a really good reader. I really enjoyed you working with this one. This and one other deck, tarot deck, I really, really loved using. So this is my top two from June. <laughs> I absolutely love the art. It's not really something I'm normally drawn to that much. I'm really into this classic style at the moment. I really like it. It's really, really cool. 
just you can read it so easily and it's quite emotive and I like the little spin on some of the cards they're not like absolute RWS clones I love this magician card so much yeah I really enjoyed this one definitely would recommend this one it's mass market it's reasonably priced as well it's great card stock and everything and yeah and the book was quite good as well I quite worked liked using this too it gave you card advice reverse meanings warnings and a quick answer as well yeah quite enjoyed this one so yeah that was the uh, old style tarot the next deck i used is something i just got in the post this month and it was this one the lepus tarot i used this so much in june this is the one i used the most i've got the there's two different editions you can get this one which is like the deluxe edition and then there's one with just no gilding and just a tuck box but this one comes in a magnetic box it says the universe is never queer it's always providing answers and guidance and i really was someone showed this on their channel i can't remember which one it was but i was drawn to the imagery like really quickly and like, i'm not into rabbits or um animal decks majorly if it is it's a cat deck normally but I just really love the art style. It reminds me of Donnie Darko, the film. The guy dresses up in like a bunny suit and it looks like this character that's depicted throughout this deck. I just love how dark and mysterious this is. I just really like the art style. I love the colours, so bright. And it's RWS easy to read and I just love the vibe of it it's just weird a bit creepy but still so cool I really like it and um, again I don't not into rabbits or hares or that sort of imagery really the book it comes with it's just a little white book it comes coloured though with some like a little description of the imagery which i liked and the upright reverse and advice and action so it's really good quite guidebook i like it when they describe the image it really gives insight into the, what the artists thought about when they created it and it's by the witchy cauldron and i got this off amazon it was about 30 pounds or something like that this is for the deluxe one i think this the other one's cheaper, it's about 20 something pounds. But yeah, I really like this one. Very gothic y and dark. And the messages I got from it was quite sassy to be fair. I didn't, um, I was expecting it to be shadowy or. It was just quite. Sometimes it felt like it was mocking me this day. <laughs> but I'd pull a card and it'd just be like, you know what why you don't need me to tell you what's going on right now <laughs> uh, i can't remember what card it is i pulled what was it i think it was um oh yeah it was this one it was strength i was like i literally said <laughs> oh yeah i remember now i literally said please give me strength today i'm really really need it what can I do to give myself some strength to get through this day? And the strength card came up and I was like, yeah, that's great. Thank you. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> I, want, I know I need strength, but give me more information, please. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love the art. Really well detailed. And I've never really heard this deck much before. But it's been around for a while. When did when is it pop in? Oh, 2022, it says I'm here. Oh, yeah, the card stock's really nice. And it's got this, the special edition's got this gilding on the back, but the other one doesn't. And I like the edges. They're like metallic blue. Really cool. Yeah, I use this a ton. The edging's still holding up pretty well, though. 
Yeah, it's such a cool out there deck. Very weird. But easy to read. And I thought it gave quite sassy cards to my questions that I was pulling every day. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I just quite, maybe laugh out loud a few times. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed this one. That is the Lepus Tarot. Next deck I got is another one that arrived in the mail in June. That was the uh, Goblins and Gardens Tarot deck. I really have been drawn to this for a while, this deck. I really like the colours. I'm not um, a D and d player or a fan. I just really like the art style where it was... Um, had like these line drawings with this collage backgrounds and it just made it really pop it was really cool and it's got gold gilding on it and i really like the backs too They're really cool I really like that it reminds me of dominoes <laughs> yeah, it came with a little pamphlet with some information about each card on there which is no. But yeah, I just really like the art style of this one. I think it's so cool where you've got the... These are like um, public domain imagery from D&D &D and they made backgrounds with the characters. I just really like the way it's done. It's really cute. just works really well even though it's black and white with coloured backgrounds it's just and it's quite fun and comical that's what I like about it as well look at that one <laughs> this one's quite a cheeky little deck as well really like the vibe of this one Yeah, I just think it's really cool. And it's been on my wish list for a while and I thought, oh, sod it, let's go for it. It's been on there for quite a few months, so I thought, might as well buy it. <laughs> Don't say about every deck I buy. <laughs> I need to stop buying things though, I'm running out of room. I literally have no storage whatsoever for more decks, but loads more keep coming out, I just want to get more. <laughs> And I don't like decluttering decks either because I always feel like I'm going to want to use them at some point. <laughs> but the readings I've got from this are quite cool. I actually love the colours and very cheeky little deck it is. <laughs> Sassy. Yeah, that's the... Um... Goblins and Gardens tarot deck. And the last two decks I want to show you are Oracle decks. This is the guys of the Hidden Realms. I just pulled this last month. I made a first impressions with this deck and it hasn't disappointed. I still really, really like this deck. I like the guidebook. I like the write up in the guidebook. I think it's really, really well done. So you get key concepts and there's a lot of information and a reverse meaning too. I just really enjoyed the write-up. I think Colette Baron reed always does really good guidebooks with her decks. So yeah, I really enjoy this. Like, you don't even have to use the guidebook with this because of the um, keywords on it. But yeah, this... um. Beautiful deck, I absolutely love it. I you pull this on days when I just wasn't feeling or I was in a rush. Like if I was like, oh, I had a long shift at work or a late shift, I just pull this card and it stays with me the message throughout the day. 
And that's why I like Oracle decks for that reason, because everyone's busy like, in their day-to-day -day life. I can't do in-depth readings all the time. But it's just nice just to pull a card and not have feel like it's an effort, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but, <laughs> but yeah, that's just such a cool, lot of cool messages in this one. I love the, I know the faces are quite similar, but I do like the bright colours and it really, really like it. So yeah, that's the um, Guides of the Hidden Realms Oracle. And the next Oracle deck I used was this one, the Rainbow Warrior Activation deck. I saw this on someone's channel because they was doing their top 10 Oracle decks of all time. I can't remember. The channel name terrible for channel i just see things and it just click and buy and then click away from the video and i forget who i got the info from but this deck is amazing i've never seen it before and it's so bright so colorful and i don't understand why i haven't seen it i had to go on the us amazon to purchase it but this is such a cool deck It's totally my style as well. Abstract, bright, colourful artwork. So beautiful. The only downside to this is there's no keywords, but the whole point of it is like it's like an activation deck that you look through and like meditate on, I guess, a little bit. And the guidebook's really good as well. It gives you keywords. And the write up. Just stunning, stunning artwork. That uh, totally speaks to me. This is the sort of artwork I do in, in my spare time when I actually have time to paint anything, which work life doesn't allow that sometimes when I'm always tired. But look how beautiful this art style is. It's so, so amazing. I love it. If I create an old deck, it would probably be something along these lines. This is the sort of art I like to paint myself, so it really speaks to me. I love it. It's so bright and colourful. Such a cool deck. I'm surprised this one I've missed. Like you'd think I would have seen this one and bought it straight away. Well, I don't know when it came out actually. What's it say in the book? 2018 this has been around and I've only just now discovered it it's crazy <laughs> but yeah I'm so glad I have this and the cardstock is all right it's pretty decent it's glossy but I don't mind that in decks so the mat sometimes I find that like, matte cardstock doesn't hold up as well it's like the glossiness of the cards kind of protects it a little bit I love this crystal card so cool but yeah, I really, really enjoy working with this one. That's the Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck. And the last thing I want to show you is um, Bibliomancy. It's a tarot deck in a book. And I saw this on eBay and I was like, that looks so colourful and bright. I love that. And you basically just flip through the book and then whatever you land on will be your card for the day. And you can get this bright neon image here, and then it gives you a write-up. And on the back it says, Embark on a cosmic journey with vibes unveiled, a groovy tarot guide, where the mystical meets the groovy in a unique approach to daily guidance. This revolutionary book allows you to flip through the, its pages, trusting the cosmic energies to guide your fingers to the perfect tarot card for the day. Each turn reveals a vibrant tarot card, accompanied by a groovy mantra, that sets the rhythm for your day. Whether it's an Ace of Cups or the Knight of Wands, let the cosmic vibrations align with your soul, offering insights and positivity through a groovy lens. Transform your daily ritual into a cosmic dance with vibes unveiled, a groovy tarot guide to finding clarity. And yeah, the colours is what spoke to me when I got it in the first place. I really like it actually, and I like that the cards aren't in order, so there's probably no way you'd remember where each of the cards are, so it's completely random from where the, each card is. So it's not in like 78 card order. So you definitely should be able to get different pulls each time and not remember. And also on the back, it's got back 
pages to write about things as well. And they've also done other things too. It's by Amanda Clark, but there's just the colours and the vibrancy that I really like. Like the, it reminds me of the tripping weight a little bit, the bright colours. I think it's really cool. And I used this on days when I literally was running out door from work and I was like, oh, I haven't pulled a card yet. So I just grabbed the book and just like, and it was so quick and easy and I'll just go, that's my card of the day. And I could easily just um, take a picture of this and just stick it into my journal. And if I really was, didn't have enough time to write my own reading up, I could just like have this printed in my book instead rather than write my own meaning. And it was just really handy for that. I really like things like this that are convenient sometimes. I kind of like to keep it in the flow of always pulling a deck, a card every day. Because I feel like if I don't, I end up not pulling any cards at all. I'm all or nothing type of person. So I need to keep that routine up just to make sure I'm keeping up to date with all my like, spiritual things. And it really um, sets my day for me when I pull a card. It makes me more mindful of the day and what messages I should be thinking about and that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's all the um, decks and book I used this month. Really, we really used quite a few different ones. They're all new, mostly, to me. So I really enjoyed working with them. It was fun. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And then I had the big... Big Mama here, which is the only downfall of this is the big box. But as you know, you put cards in pouches when I use them regularly. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.